Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. I get it. You see the title. This is how the Washington Commies can win the Super Bowl. Yes, I get it. They're the commanders. They have Austin Eckler, who runs like a chipmunk. They have Dan Quinn as their head coach. They have Jaden Daniels, a rookie QB. A rookie QB has never made the Super Bowl. I get that. Okay? But I'm going to explain exactly what the commies need to do to win the Super Bowl. Okay? They start the season at the Buccaneers. Okay? First of all, Jaden Daniels is going to have to perform. We need an RG3 pre-injury type of season for them to even be relevant this year. Okay? They got Dan Quinn, a defensive-minded head coach, but they got rid of all of their stars. All they have is Jonathan Allen. So Jonathan Allen is going to have to be a beast. He's going to have to get 25 sacks this season. And against the Buccaneers, it's going to be an 0-1 start. Listen, okay? I understand that in order to be a Super Bowl team, you've got to be a very good team. The commies are not. but. They can get off to quick wins against the Giants, who are utter trash. And against the Bengals, where Joe Joe Cool is abysmal in the beginning of the season. He's also still recovering from his season-ending injury from last season. Jaden Daniels, who is healthy against the Bengals. The Bengals have a solid defense. I understand that. But... Before on Saturday night, okay, Dan Quinn injects the water, injects the Gatorade that the Bengals will be using with heroin. And look, hey, it's not his fault that eight players die, okay? Things like that just happen. So the commies start two and one. Against the Cardinals, all they have to do is just raise their hands in the sky. And Kyler Murray is going to have to run. The DBs, look, blitz eight, engage eight. As long as the defensive line and middle linebackers just raise their hands, Kyler Murray can't throw over them, okay? They also have Marvin Harrison Jr., which I understand. But a wide receiver can only carry a team so much. So the commies with an easy win over the Cardinals. Right now they're three and one. Okay. Next up against the Browns. The Browns are very good. I'm very high on the Browns this year. So in order for them to win, they're gonna have to pay the masseuses, all 30 of them, or however many Deshaun Watson touched. Okay. They're gonna have to pay them even more than what the lawsuit was to bring back that spotlight on Deshaun Watson. He gets cut by the Browns. The Browns' backup is DTR, and when DTR played, he was absolutely horrible. And the Browns' defense is good, but as long as Jaden Daniels throws one touchdown, the commies are going to win. Now against the Ravens, yeah, uh, no. Panthers, same situation with Bryce Young, but just exclude a good wide receiver. Xavier Leggett is cool. I love his accent, but he's not Marvin Harrison Jr. Bryce Young is five foot four. I think he's even shorter than Kyler Murray. He's skinnier than Kyler Murray, and he's not as good as Kyler Murray. Also, that offensive line is terrible. They got new additions with Robert Hunt, I believe, from Miami, but they're still horrible. Washington. Now against the Bears, against Caleb Williams, this is pick numero one versus pick numero trace? Dose? I don't remember. I think it's dose. I think the commies were number two. This is a marquee game, okay? The Bears are going to be very good this year, okay? 
So in order for them to win, Jaden Daniels has to DM Caleb Williams' two girlfriends, okay? His side chick and his main girl. And that's going to mess with Caleb Williams. He's going to be like, oh, you're attacking me? You're going after my girl and my side girl? No, it's over. And this causes Caleb Williams to try to outperform Jaden Daniels, which gets in his head. He's a crying baby that paints his nails black. So he's all emotional. He does. He's distraught. He's on the road. Yeah, commies. Next up, commies versus giants. I mean, come on. That's not even a question. Steelers are very good. TJ Watt is probably going to have a 20-sack season. Minka Fitzpatrick is back. He should be healthy. So, I I think Austin Eckler is horrible. But they got Brian Robinson. Run the ball with Brian Robinson opposite of TJ Watt. Throw the ball opposite of where Minka Fitzpatrick is. And just play average defense. And you win the game. Against the Eagles... Divisional matchup, okay, Thursday night football, we'll give it to the Eagles, okay, we'll just give it to them. Now they're home, they're hungry, they just lost to a divisional matchup, they play Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb and Micah Parsons, the Dallas Cowboys are very, very good. But you know who else is very, very good? The Washington Commanders. Chances of hurting the opposition with the field. The, f- the field, the stadium, almost crashed on Jalen Hurts a couple of years. This is what needs to happen in this game. This The fans get too rowdy. The whole entire stands collapses onto the Dallas Cowboys, killing the entire team, which causes the Cowboys to forfeit the rest of their games and gives the commies both of those wins. Next up, Tennessee Titans. The Tennessee Titans are my dark horse this season. They're very, very good. But if I'm un- unbiased in my mental capacity and they're actually not good, why can't the commies win, right? Going into a bye week, they're going to be motivated. They just came off of the Cowboys forfeit win where they witnessed death. Okay, so they're going to be inspired. They don't know when their time is up, which gives them a momentum boost against the Titans. They're at home. There's going to be a memorial service. They're going to be in their fields, but they're going to be hungry. They're going to be ready to attack. They witnessed sadness, and they blow out the Tennessee Titans. Next up, at the New Orleans Saints, this is where Spencer Rattler comes up. Um, Derek Carr, the Saints are probably 6-7, and and 7-6 around here. and. NFC South teams always go 7 and 10. So, based on that logic, it's the commies. Now it's the Eagles again. Divisional matchups are usually split, but hey, it's tough, but Eagles. Okay, let that happen. The commies have won three in a row. Losses happen, move on to the next. And the next is against Kirk Cousins, okay? All they need to do is beat up Kirk Cousins. They have to throw punches. They have to punch him in the box, okay? You know what the box is, okay? The genitals. Here comes Michael Penix. Michael Penix is very good. I think he's going to be a star. In my opinion, he was quarterback number one in this draft. But coming into a game where you just witnessed the starting quarterback get beaten up, like this is NFL backbreaker, get some shot. This is a 24 nothing victory. And then, as we know, Cowboys forfeit because they died. And now we're in the playoffs. The commies enter the playoffs at 13 and 4. This gives them the number one seed, which automatically moves them into the divisional round. 
having home field advantage is major. Okay. So they're the one seed. Let's just assume they probably play the five seed, which is the Eagles. Okay. They play the five seed, the Eagles. The Eagles are 2 and 0 against the Commies. D going 3 and 0 against a, a divisional matchup in the same season just never happens. So based on that, I would give the Commies the win, which enters them into the NFC Championship game. But you can't just use previous history to automatically pencil in games. In order for them to beat the Eagles for the first time out of three matchups, they need Jalen Hurts to throw the ball. Now I get it. They got A.J. Brown. They got Devonta Smith. They're probably going to dominate. But once a fan rushes the field and picks off Jalen Hurts, and the referees don't even see it. So this is the 2025 version of the 13th of the 12th man. This happened in the 50s with the Patriots, I believe, where a fan ran onto the field and caught the game-winning interception. This needs to happen. You know, there's not really any security. The, the stadium collapsed a couple weeks before against the Cowboys. So there's no security. I mean, this stadium is trash. A fan picks off Jalen Hurts, returns it all the way to the house for a pick six because the Eagles say, hey, that is the 12th guy. That is a fan. The referees see a Cameron Curl jersey, but it's a white guy. So they're all confused. They're like, is Cameron Curl a white guy? No, he's a black guy. But by the time they decide, oh, wait, that was a fan. The commanders sprint and kick the PAT to win the game. The commies are 14 and 4. They go to the NFC Championship game against the 49ers. It's the 49ers or Lions. Let's just assume it's both. They're playing both at the same time. What they need to do is focus on one team at a time. The Lions come out in the first half, striking. But as we saw last year, they have second half meltdowns. And that doesn't change this year. Now we go to the Niners. I mean, the Niners are just all around good. Brandon Ayuk is probably coming to the commies. So it's a revenge game. Jaden Daniels only throws the ball to Brandon Ayuk. So Brandon Ayuk has 30 catches for 400 yards and seven touchdowns. And then you, all of a sudden, the commies, Brandon Ayuk's, get revenge on the 49ers. And now it's the commies in the Super Bowl. Let's assume it's the Chiefs because the Chiefs have steamrolled the AFC of recently. Travis Kelsey is... 59 years old. They have no wide receivers. I mean, it's about time that the Chiefs having no wide receivers actually hurts them. Rasheed Rice is probably going to be suspended. He's probably going to kill another person throughout the season. So he gets cut. They got Marquise Brown, who weighs 110 pounds. All they need to do is tackle him one time and they get the he gets the Travis Hunter treatment against Colorado State and then who else is there who else on offense does the Chiefs have they have Isaiah Pacheco but Isaiah Pacheco is about to have a Clyde's Clyde Edwards Hilaire type of downfall where he's a one season wonder and then the Chiefs have no offense the Chiefs have defense but if you don't score you don't win you can't win a game scoring zero points so as long as the Commanders can score, say, two touchdowns, they win the Super Bowl. And that is exactly how the Washington Commies can win the Super Bowl. Score more points than the Chiefs? Score more points than most of your opponents? Play defense? And that's the Super Bowl. Thank you for watching.